In an English sentence, some words are pronounced with more stress than others. Generally, the words which carry the main meaning are stressed, while grammar words like prepositions, pronouns, and so on are not stressed. Words which are not stressed can be weak forms. For example, how long have you been waiting here? Can you hear which words are stressed? The words how, long, and waiting are stressed. How long have you been waiting here? The unstressed words can be weak. Have and you have weak forms. They are pronounced together. You say, of you. Been and here aren't stressed, but these words don't have weak forms, so the pronunciation stays the same. Let's do one more example. I could have done more if I'd had more time. Which words are stressed here, and which words do you think are weak? Listen one more time. I could have done more if I'd had more time. The stressed words are done, more, had, more, and time. The weak forms are could and have. Had is also weak in the contraction I'd. A contraction like I'd is really just a weak form which is written. So could have is pronounced could have. The other unstressed words like if and I don't have weak forms, so their pronunciation doesn't change. Okay, so now you know that weak forms are words with two possible pronunciations, and you know when to use the weak pronunciation of a word. But if there are two possible pronunciations, what about